Let's go set up that hydroponic tower. My wife was telling me how expensive romaine lettuce is getting. Let's go fix that problem. So the way this thing works is pretty cool. It's a bucket full of water, there's a tiny submersible pump down in the bottom, and then there's a hose from the submersible pump that goes all the way up to the top to a distribution cap. Just a cone, looks like a volcano spits out the water. And then I've got a cap port here, goes on top. So now when the water runs down the cap, it runs down the sides, and then it coats the inside of all these little baskets here. See the water dripping off? And what it does is it, it nourishes the roots. Now you can put some nutrients down below if you want, or um, what some people do, what I like to do is I like to throw a bunch of goldfish in there and then that way there it feeds the plants and then the plants in turn clean the water. As you can see, the water makes its way to every opening and it coats every basket. That's the distribution cap right there that distributes the water evenly around the tube. Now you can see this one's squirting a little bit, but you can turn the pump up and down to adjust that. I've got it set a little bit too high right now. I seem to have misplaced a few of the little baskets, so I'm just taking a hole saw here and I'm cutting some rock wool right out of the cube. It works really well. And then you got a nice cube. So pretty good because the little tip of the bit there makes a nice little hole for the seed and they fit right into those circles. Now let's see if we can find the romaine lettuce in this mess of seeds that I got here. Found them. Success. So we're going to put the romaine lettuce seeds on our little pods here. Man, I forgot how small these little seeds are. I'm going to go get something to poke them in a little bit. Yeah, we'll use a little green Robertson. For the people not in Canada, that's a square screwdriver. It'll actually be easier to take them out. Oh yeah. All right, so it's all filled up with seeds now. So it's just a matter of waiting for them to sprout. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and set up a system to get some lights hanging down from it like this. So I've got four of them, so I figure if I build some type of contraption that I can just kind of spin this thing around, it should work. So I'll keep you guys all updated on how these things germinate, and we'll see how long it takes us to get some lettuce.